When I stopped into Auburn, Sarah surprised me late at night saying that she had someone she wanted me to meet. Well, I could tell that she was really nervous and wanted me to be impressed with this person, which wasn't like her because anyone she had dated before, she could have cared less what my opinion was about them. <laughs> and in walks Anthony to her apartment with a huge smile and a bag full of McDonald's, which he offered to share with me. Very, very nice of him. Later, he'd go on to share his Netflix password and many other things with me. He is a, a giver. It was then that I realized that my supportive, spunky, and sensitive sister was smitten with Anthony. And you guys are one of the funniest and most fun couples to be around. You are so compatible with each other, and you listen to each other, and you understand each other. I can't wait to see what the future holds for the two of you. So to finish off, I thought I would include a quote from The Office for you. Unfortunately, the Michael Scott quotes didn't fit well, so we're going with a quote from Pam. When you're a kid, you assume that your parents are soulmates. Your kids are gonna be right about that. So cheers to Sarah and Anthony to many, many happy years together. We, through the doors, was open for Anthony to play football. In, in the small town of Brantley, he was a star. We thought he was going to be a pro and make big money, you know, and that was our plans. But uh, I realized that, uh, that God had a greater plan, and uh, he had a more fulfilling plan, plan for you, Anthony. And uh, uh, I believe Sarah was that plan, because if he hadn't went to Auburn, he wouldn't have met his soulmate. Amen. You're the love of my life, my best friend, and my everything. I've been dreaming of my wedding day since I was a little girl. I've been praying for you since before I met you. I can't wait to make these vows to you forever. You make me smile every single day. You make me a better person. I can't wait to have children with you, to watch our children grow up, and to grow old with you. I love you with all my heart, always and forever. Your wife, Sarah. <laughs> we are here today to celebrate the greatest gift of all, love. The love of this community, the love of this family, the love of this couple, Sarah and Anthony. Why we choose to fall in love with someone is a great mystery to me. I only know that when we do, it changes us forever. It causes us to do remarkable things, to sacrifice ourselves in amazing ways, to trust with all our heart, to become one with another person as with no other person on earth. Jesus said, there is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. And that is exactly what we celebrate today. Sarah and Anthony laying down their separate lives to live as one. One heart, one soul, one love. <laughs> Who gives this woman to this man? Her mother and I. We are gathered here today to pray for and bless Sarah and Anthony as they begin their new life together as a married couple. We are here to witness their love and commitment for each other and to show our support for them as family and friends. And so let us begin with a very simple prayer that we begin all at worship with. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Honey. I'm 
so excited for you guys. <laughs> I love you it, sweetie. So oh, thank you, hon. I love your card. Thank you so much. I, Anthony, take you, Sarah, for my lawful wife, to have in the home from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, Sarah, take you, Anthony, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Morgan. We want to thank you for joining us tonight um, to experience the coming together of our two families and the marriage of Sarah and Anthony. Now, I agree. You may not know and his dad told me this story, but Anthony played a little football in his life. And so when he was in high school, on those fall nights and Fridays, um, he wore the number two. And as Anthony get the ball pitched out to him, and those from Brantley will know this story, he would cut around the corner and often leave defenders in his dust. And the announcer would come on and say, ladies and gentlemen, the deuce is loose. Well, Sarah, do you want to tell them now or should we tell them later that after today, the deuce ain't loose anymore? Sarah, what a special day for you. And I could not be more excited. I've been so fortunate as your dad to watch you grow up as a little girl. It's been so exciting to watch you grow up to a beautiful and confident young woman. It's been exciting to watch you find Anthony. And he will be a wonderful husband for you. And Anthony, we're so happy to have you as part of our family. So please lift your glasses with me to toast the new bride and groom, Sarah and Anthony, to many happy and healthy years together, and maybe one or two grandkids along the way. Cheers. Yeah.